our stocks of solar panels. I've got a big list. We really have to go to the nearest town to get supplies, like now. I, Martin and Chris aren't gonna be psyched about that. You know, they'll say something like, well, we just got here to the Sonoran Desert, and we've only met a few of the creatures who live here. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't wait any longer, and that's the point. We're in a desert, and we're also running out of water. Hey, why don't we just take the Crutera? That way we get the stuff we need and the bros can keep exploring. Did you see this, Liz? We need too much stuff. It's time for our giant annual Tortuga resupply. Yeah, come to think of it, I am running low on a lot of important materials for creature power suit programming. Uh-oh, and what if we run out of snacks? Water. <coughs> Water! Water! We need water! The desert has given us a beating! Hey! Gotcha! Huh? Guys, knock it off! We have to conserve! This is our last bottle of water! Aviva and I have just decided we have to leave now and go to town and get resupplied. What? But we just got here to the Sonoran Desert, and we've only met a few of the creatures who live here. I told you. I know, but we've run out of so many things, and... Oh, no! This is the last bag of nachos, and we have no more salsa. Oh, yeah, you do have to have salsa for your nachos, especially when you're adventuring the desert southwest. Wait a second. We can't go now. We're just on the tail of that speedy little mystery lizard over there. Leaving now is against the Wildcrats Creature Adventuring Code of Conduct. Yeah, you're right, bro. Gotta stay until we know exactly who that mystery lizard is. Whoever it is, it'll be a new animal for our life list. Seeing through binoculars doesn't count. We have to see it up close and personal to add it to our life list. I know, but at least we know what we're trying to get a closer look at. Oops. Whoa! It has two tails, three eyes, and... Uh, Martin. Ah! The binoculars are broken. Now we have another reason to head to the nearest town. New binoculars. Come on, guys, get packed up and ready to go. Please, just five more minutes. Oh, come on, we just have to get close to that speedy mystery lizard. Just five more minutes, please. Fine. I still have to realign the Tortuga's hover thrusters before we take off. I can give you half an hour. <laughs> all right! Yeah, all right! Hey. Thanks, Koki. Yeah, we'll be right back. Sure you will. All right, this will be great. As soon as I spot the lizard, I'll let you go, and then you'll go flying after him. And I can grab that mystery lizard as I fly by. I should have activated bear powers or something strong. Uh, you see the lizard? Not yet. Could be a while. Oh, there he is! Whoa! Ah! It's, it's, it's a... Cactus! Give it all you got! You got it! You can say that again. Smooth it out, Jay-Z. Slower. A few more turns. I'll give him the old Jay-Z jigzag. A creature alert. Coming in from some Wildcrats kids. 
um, in Eastern North America. Wild Crafts Tortuga HQ, mystery discovery or rescue? Mystery, I guess. Wait, no, rescue. Wait, maybe all three. Wow, what's going on? We've got a big problem. Our clubhouse tree is dying. Even worse, the whole forest here is dying. What? All the trees are dying? Why? We don't know. We're worried about all the creatures that live here, too. They can't live without their forest. See? It's a mystery and a rescue, all rolled into one. We need help. You're not kidding. Hang tight, we're on our way. Jimmy, take her down, double speed. What's going on? Whoa! Did you tell him to give it all he's got? I didn't know he had this much. <laughs> Yep, that hurt. Oh, hi guys. Um, the door's over there. Uh, that's okay, window will do. Boy, are we happy to see you guys. Oh yeah, what's up? See, it's the trees. They're losing their leaves in the middle of spring. They're sick and we don't know why. Wow, not good. Thanks for the alert, Aiden. We're on the case. We'll figure it out. Okay, first, we gotta inspect these trees. I'll do a check up top. With a little help from this guy. Activate squirrel power! <laughs> Ready to climb. Hmm, nothing unusual here on the trunk. Hmm, nothing strange here. Uh, or here. We're here. Are built to handle the winter. A snowshoe hare. Amazing. He just walks right on top of the snow. He's a snow walker. Look at those huge feet. That's what keeps him from sinking in. Whoa! What's up, Avalanche? <gasps> That's what's up! Goshawk! Go, Avalanche, go! Those are some powerful legs! Six kilometers per hour in just a few seconds, and they still stay on top of the snow without sinking in. It's like a fucking Bronco ride! A hip hopping hair ride! Woohoo! Look out! Whoa! Nice seeing, Avalanche! Goshawks, hawks in general, they're one of the snowshoe hare's worst nightmares. Uh, not exactly a sweet dream for a mini crab brother either. Whoa! to the 
safety zone. Hang on, Chris! <sighs> you know, maybe this wasn't a great idea after all. Oh, you gotta admire this hair hunting specialist. With that dense winter fur and those massive paws that keep her on top of the snow, just like you, Avalanche. She matches you feature for feature. She even spreads her toes with every step to make them even bigger, better snow feet. Oh, this is not good. Unexpected obstacles. Oh! Uh oh, too late. Well, at least we landed in soft snow. Freezing cold, but soft. <laughs> yeah, but I think Jimmy just swallowed the flight module. Ah, we're grounded. Good thing Aviva added ground gear. <laughs> Great, then let's get back to the Tortuga. They'll be waiting for <gasps> a meadow vole. Kinda like a mouse, but different. Shorter tail. A little like a mole, but different. Small paws. 100% vole. And pretty roly-poly. Hey, I'll call you Rolo. But what are you doing out and about? It's super cold out. Way below freezing. You should be hibernating or something. Yeah, sleeping through the winter. Like groundhogs and bats and hedgehogs. Winter's harsh. Freezing temperatures, food scarce, no leaves, no berries. A little guy like you could die out here. Rolo? Wait, hold up! Uh-oh, this paradise just became a nightmare. Predators know about this Subnivian Zone too. This is crazy. You could be having a peaceful time down here, then boom, it's all over. I know, anything could be listening from up there. Listening for the voles skittling around and chewing. As long as no one makes any sudden loud noises, we should be fine. Uh, shh. Ah. Uh, shh. <sighs> ah, chew, 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 chew. Oops, hopefully nobody heard that. But let's get out of here anyway. Quietly, Martin. Drive quietly. That. We'll see you, Rolo. It's been fun. Quick, let's get out of here, bro. Oof. Huh? Where'd that snowbank come from? <gasps> oh, uh, hi. You're not a snowbank, are you? You're an ermine! Rolo, run! <laughs> These weasels are like furry snakes on legs. They're burrow and tunnel hunting specialists built for bending and twisting in tight spaces. Tell me about it, and hang on! Whoa! Yeah. Rocket Jet to Tortuga, come in! Well, well, it's about time. Where are you guys? We're being chased by a weasel under the snow! Or not. There they are! It worked! We found you! And saved you, even though we shouldn't have. We've been calling you forever. Uh, our ringers were off. Yeah, we kind of lost track of time. Sorry. <laughs> I think he needs your heat amplifier. Coming up, Jimmy. <laughs> ah, that's better. Relax, old Jimmy. Time for that beach vacation. See you later, buddy. We're heading to the beach. Bye. Bye. 